героїчний народи України. І десь сьомий день національної визвольної війни проти російського окупанта. Heroic people of Ukraine, the seventh day of the national liberation war against the Russian occupiers is underway. Our troops are fighting like lions in all directions and holding the line. In some areas the enemy is depleted and forced to retreat tactically. At the same time, tens of thousands of reservists are joining our army. Weapons are coming to Ukraine from all over the world. And the main thing is that the confusion and fear that people had during the first two days of war changed into concentration and courage. Everyone understands that we are fighting for liberation of our land and for our future, and we will not forgive the enemy for his crimes. Not only the executors, but also the authors of this inhuman plan will be punished in The Hague for missile volleys on Ukrainian cities – Kharkiv, Kyiv, Zhytomyr. The Iron Curtain is increasingly falling over the aggressor. World companies are leaving Russia because they do not want bloody money. Russia has virtually defaulted. Most civilized countries have closed their skies for Russia. At the same time, Ukraine is getting stronger. The European Parliament has accepted Ukraine's application to join the European Union. Ukraine joins the European and so e energy network. Rallies are taking place all over the world in support of our country. Ukraine is now the center of the world's struggle for freedom. The government team is working with the president of Ukraine here in Kyiv in certain places under wartime conditions. We will not go anywhere and we will not surrender to the enemy. Yesterday we simplified the procedure for using the budget reserve fund during martial law, which will allow us to quickly make decisions to allocate funds for the needs of the Ukrainian army. The government has also decided that humanitarian or technical assistance will be received without delay, and on the basis of simplified declarations, no custom control measures will be applied. The government is now actively developing mechanism for stable food, medicine and essential goods supply throughout the country. There is a coordination center for food, medicine, drinking water and fuel provision headed by the first deputy prime minister of Ukraine, Yulia Sviridenko. There is a humanitarian aid coordination center headed by the Deputy Prime Minister for European and Euro-Atlantic Integration, Olga Stefanishina. The whole government, the whole state machine is working to ensure stability in these times. One more thing. Yesterday, March 1st, the first auction for the sale of military bonds took place. More than 8 billion hryvnias were raised. These funds will be used to support Ukrainian defenders and finance the state budget for the needs of our armed force. Thank you to every Ukrainian, every company that supports the state. Glory to the Ukrainian army. Glory to the Ukrainian people. Glory to Ukraine.